Let's get started. Let's get started today. Inshallah, we're going to start with our new lesson. Let's try to continue what we have already ended last time. Agreement. First part, it was between the agreement between the subject and the verb. And today, inshallah, we, we going to continue with the agreement between the pronoun and its antecedents. Okay. Let's start. Uh, the agreement of that pronoun and its antecedent, a pronoun usually refers to a noun or another pronoun that's called its antecedent. And a pronoun should agree with its antecedent in number and in gender. In number, as we have already said last time, is it singular or plural? And in gender, as we say today, in gender, is it a male or female? Or is it masculine or is it feminine? So what the pronoun should agree in number and gender with its antecedents. Masculine pronouns, as we have already taken before the personal pronouns and we know, the different types of the pronouns. One of the most common pronouns is called the personal pronouns. For example, he, him, has. All of those refer to males. And we have feminine pronouns, she, her, hers, that refer to females. Or neuter pronouns like it, it, refer to things neither male or female. And sometimes, they refer to animals. For example, when we say Brian lost his hook because his is the pronoun, it must agree with the antecedent Brian as a male and singular at the same time Brian singular. So his as the personal pronoun, it should be singular and male at the same time. Another example, I am lend her book to Brian. So her book, it refers to the, her, its antecedent, Leanne. Leanne is singular and female. So what uh, here is the most appropriate pronoun here in this example. And we have another example, the book had Dylan's name written inside its cover. So, the book, this is the antecedent, and it refers to singular in number, and at the same time, it's a neuter. So uh, the most uh, appropriate pronoun here, it should be its cup. Another point in our lesson, you have to pay attention that the singular pronoun, that uh, singular pronoun here, it should be used if we have singular antecedents be joined by or or nor. For example, if we say neither the mother nor the daughter had forgotten her running shoes. So the antecedent here, the mother nor the daughter. The antecedent, the mother and daughter. They are combined to each other by using nor. So uh, the, uh, the, the most appropriate pronoun here, here, it refers to the singular uh, uh, antecedent daughter or mother. And use a plural pronoun if it uh, uh, refers to two or more antecedents, be joined by an and. For example, my mother and father send their regards. So uh, there, it's used here as a pronoun, the most appropriate one, because it refers to the antecedent mother, father, that all combined to each other by using end. Uh, do you remember the uh, indefinite pronouns that are singular? Singular, as we said before, the indefinite pronouns, uh, they are actually singular or plural or singular or plural at the same time. So uh, what about the singular 
indefinite pronouns. For example, as we have already taken them before, anybody, anyone, anything, each, either, everybody, everyone, everything, neither, nobody, no one, nothing, one, somebody, someone, and something. What about if we use it in a sentence? What about the uh, pronoun? That pronoun here, anyone who has finished his or her sketch should show it to the teacher. So uh, we use his or her with the indefinite singular pronoun. Actually, we don't know who is that one. Anyone, maybe uh, this is a male or a female, so uh, we use here his or her. Okay, and uh, to some extent, it's confusing to the reader that he can determine who is the, uh, uh, that person or that incident, anyone. Another example, each of the birds felt its own nest. Each, as in definite singular, indefinite pronoun, we use that pronoun here, that personal pronoun, it's. So it's. Uh, it matches or it refers to the incident each. What about that plural indefinite pronouns? For example, those few, many more, no things, several. For example, when we say several of the ice caricatures are melting, how can we save? Huh? What? How can we save them? Several as the indefinite plural pronoun we can use the personal pronoun them to refer to them. Another example, where proof of the concerts canceled or where what they just rescheduled, they. So they as a personal pronoun, it refers to the antecedent booth. Booth as a plural indefinite pronoun. Pay attention to what please. Okay, what about them? And the other types of the pronouns, indefinite pronouns, that depending uh, may be used as singular or plural at the same time, depending on the meaning in a sentence. Those pronouns are singular when we refer to a singular word, and plural when they are referring to a plural word. For example, some of the test is hard, isn't it? So pay attention to what you hear. It, it refers to some, but some, it's used as a singular indefinite pronoun. Some refers to the singular noun test, actually, some of the test. Because of the test, it's used as a singular noun or a singular antecedent, so uh, it's uh, uh, the uh, most appropriate pronoun here is it. It refers to some. Another one, if we say some of the questions are easy, I'll do them first. Actually, we use here some that refers to plural noun questions. So some, it's used as a plural because it refers to the questions, okay? Let's try to remember collective nouns. Collective nouns that refers to group of things or group of people, they are singular in form. For example, group, class, team, and whatever. Either a singular or plural pronoun may be used to refer to a collective noun, depending on the meaning of the sentence. For example, the first group will get its presentation next Friday. So uh, here, the group is used as one unit, all of them, all of the group, with each other as a one unit will give its presentation next uh, Friday. So it's used as a singular. So we have to use it as the uh, personal uh, singular uh, pronoun. The group share their ideas for topics. So their ideas. Their ideas, it refers to plural uh, because the group here, it means the members of the group. They have already done something separately as a separate members. So what we use the group as plural uh, uh, antecedent. So there it refers to plural as a, a personal indefinite a personal 
uh, pronoun, it refers to uh, plural uh, collective noun group. Expression of a noun. Expression of a noun may take singular or plural pronoun depending on how the expression is used. For example, ten dollars is all I need. I I think I can earn it. Earn it because it's amount of money. So uh, it refers to ten ten dollars as only one amount of money, as a sum of money. So uh, it uh, uh, refers its thought of as one unit. The same example. If we gonna talk about ten dollars or two dollars in another bond, where are the two dollars that we are on the counter? Have they been taken? So two dollars is amount of money, but here it's used as individual pieces or individual parts. So what uh, the same amount of money can be used as singular or plural. It depends on the meaning of this amount of uh, thing in a sentence. Nouns, plural form. You have to remember that some nouns that are plural in form, but they take singular pronouns. Most of the uh, plural uh, form for the nouns here that refer to, for example, some diseases, uh, or some subjects uh, like civics, economics, electronics, genetics, gym, uh, gymnastics, linguistics, mathematics, devices, news, physics, summons, all of them refer to something singular and they take singular pronouns, okay? Even if they are plural uh, nouns in plural form. Stasi, for example, enjoys physics even though it is a difficult subject. So physics uh, as a plural form, it takes uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, personal pronoun it as a singular form. Nouns in plural form, but they name singular objects and take plural pronouns. For example, binoculars, pants, shears, eyeglasses, dryers, shorts, alembics, scissors, slacks, all of them take plural pronouns even if they refer to singular objects. For example, Jason removed his eyeglasses and placed what? It on them on the table. Surely we have to fill in the blanks with them. They refer to singular object, but we have to use the plural pronoun, them, on the table. Eyeglasses, this is the antecedent, and then this is the personal pronoun in plural form. Creative work. Creative work actually, for example, uh, work of uh, a, uh, the name of a book, the name of a painting, the name of a song, or a movie, uh, whatever. So uh, these take singular pronoun. For example, after reading the neighbors, I recommend that to Juanita. So what uh, neighbors here at the antecedent, it should take it as singular because it refers to one story. Another example terms of endearment is my mom's favorite movie and she has seen it six times. So it refers to one movie. In terms of endearment, this is one movie. So uh, we have to use the singular form for the names of movies, the names of books, the names of stories, the names of poems, the names of songs, or the names of creative work. So we have to use the singular pronoun nouns. Finally, we have some names in plural form. Uh, especially uh, in these cases, we use the um, uh, proper nouns, for example, the names of cities uh, or countries or organizations. So you have to use the singular pronoun to refer to them. For example, the Philippines is located in the Southwest Pacific Ocean. It consists of thousands of islands. 
because it it refers to Philippines as a, its antecedents. So it refers to Philippines as one country. So well, we have to use it as a singular pronoun. 